guys from Coach, Coach Woods, and he's had active body. His body's so live, and he makes so many things happen. That was the first made field goal of the game for Tennessee. Injury and surgery into the season. He is back in a big way. Mashore feeding story. He's got a
pride. Hey, this is a Division One game. You don't get too many. There's not many left. Let's go out, fight, and end this season on the right note. Green story off the bounce. Goaltending by Charles Jackson for three. Got it. Skyhawks lead by one. Zaxby's three. On the other end, Morehead State and Harrington up off balance, misses the stick back. No. Rebound, Joseph lost it. Morehead State kicks it out. Corner, three point attempt. Good. Basket throws it to the cutting. Marshawn Newell lost it. Missed the shot. Rebound, Morehead State. Marshawn kind of caught that funny and never had a good handle on it, didn't he? Looked like he shot it off his wrist. Billy Reeder. Quick pass, shot of habit in bounding the basketball. Zarrington right beside Coach Heath Schroyer, the UT Marshall <laughs> coach. There's a story. Story crosses it, kicks it out to Arrington. Now Mashur back over. Here's a three pointer. Good. He was wide. I think I see Heather Butler in the car. She up. is here. Yeah. yeah, she was here back on Thursday. Former NBA, WNBA star, played overseas. Oh, wow. How about. And the Skyhawks back with it on the defensive end. Kareem Story has it for Morehead State out to Reeder. Post player there on the left elbow. Handing it to Arrington, or Warner that is. Kick out. Jumper up and goes in. Throws it to Joseph who goes up and hits it. And it, again, Tom, it looked strong, but it found its way in the basket. On the other end were Marshawn Newell. Newell to Tamond Howard. Lost a turnover. Skyhawks. On the break. Story lays it in. UT Martin down by four. And Warner in for Coach Woods. Fans on their feet. Morehead State down by two with the ball. Warner with it on the right wing. Skyhawks need one stop to walk out of here with a victory. 20 on the shot clock. Their game clock. Shot clock is off. Down to Reeder. Right side, Story. Story goes all the way in and scores. Why they were having a tough time at home. I mean, he, he really didn't have an answer for it. I mean, he's perplexed, and I don't blame him. I feel the same. See how that affects the game with Jordan Faust on the bench, their top defender, and also the point of that zone defense. Story too strong. McKinney with the rebound, lost the handle. Faust keeps it alive. Story on the drive. And play we watched during shoot around. Little back screen on the weak side and a lob over the rim. Story on the drive. Very nice. Top 87 to 69 with eight seconds left. Collins into the corner. Nice fake. Story. Rainbow jumper at the buzzer.
Story you know, leads the Ohio Valley in assists. Over six a game. How about that? The rebound, a standing rebound, and the e Embolda with the follow gets his first two. Well, yeah, Marshall was hoping to, to suppress them a little bit, but they haven't scored enough to press. And then them, they, they were so shocked they scored right then. Everybody ran back and forgot to press. So Moorhead State has dictated the tempo early in this game. Of course, they've also knocked down a couple of shots, including this man, Warner. Story. He's normally the distributor. He buries the three-pointer. It's kind of low. Story can't hit from the baseline. Mashore elevated grab the rebound. He'll give it right back to Story for a second opportunity. This time he will not miss. At first. Shoot around today going over a lot of these end lines. Now, this is a hard one because it's out of the deep corner. Really a tough angle. You're just hoping to get it inbounds cleanly. Miguel Descent, freshman from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, come off the bench for the first time for Moorhead State. Short clock. They'll probably come with an on ball. Let Kareem have some creativity. Got a mismatch. First time the shot clock is a factor down to one story. Did he get it off in time? He did it. He grabbed it from St. Petersburg Lakewood High School. Jacoby Boykins. Best team all state for the They're starting five to, state championship uh, runner-ups. They're starting to get contributions from a lot more places. This game has gone kind of in phases. It was back and forth, a little sloppy, hard to make a shot. Then everybody made a shot. It was even. Then all of a sudden, five points. And then all of a sudden, double digits. Peter so, gets some help here. I would have thought he would have broken it, actually, yeah, me a long too. time ago. He's too old, though. These other guys, you know, they only have to let but you let it play. Now, right now, you see Deshaun Mormon comes in. If you liked Melvin Levitt and how high he can jump, this guy jumps off one leg. Pogo Springs reminds you a lot of Andre Iguodala for the Golden State Warriors. Kevin Johnson picked up his second personal there. And a perfect two for two from downtown. Five of eight from the field. Quinn trying to answer back. Too strong. Ellis can't corral the offensive rebound. He wanted a foul. Story going the other way. Gary Clark got a piece of it. After eight points against St. Francis, Copain has nine here tonight. Cincinnati's lead is 12. Arrington gets the basketball. Good to see him back in the game and feeling all right. And out there having a good time. Jackson, the left hand. Will box out and rebound Anthony Alici. That's why they're going to stay with the shooters and, and force Jackson to make those shots, particularly a left handed jump hook. What a pass down low. Alici makes the team. We're going to give some of those up, but that was transition defense. Moorhead's got to sprint back. Every possession matters. Got to get back on defense. Yes, Great ball. We're going to be in pressure situations. Could that tip the scales? How many times we talk about teams been down by a huge deficit, they mount a comeback, and they just run out of steam. What a look down low. Story. C forces the one and done. The coach Woods is calling the play. Going to milk the clock or drop a dime. <laughs>
is the 13th leading scorer in the nation, averaging over 20 a game in his last six. He's averaged nearly 25 a contest. Not an area on the floor that he can't attack you off the bounce. Here's Mashur, who you mentioned last night was electric. Many times the best player on the floor for the Eagles. Story of three-pointer. And they call Burr. Yes, sir. And just what we were talking about is Murray State has a size advantage on the interior. They cannot neglect their bigs on the interior. Force Morehead State to have to make an adjustment. That's an area that they can continue to exploit. Nice drop. Story with the blow by. No answer to the post players. I'd like to see Murray State try to take advantage, get some easy opportunities in the low post, and force this Morehead State team to have to help. Morehead State started this game three for three from three-point range, and they went cold ever since, as you said, Fonz. See what they try to do here at the start of the second half. They take it to the hole, and they'll have a chance at a cross. Nice take to the hole. He does a really nice job of eluding the secondary defender. Slippery. Nice drive. Story of the chance to make it a one-possession ball game. Morehead State should continue to do what got him here. Continue to attack off the bounce and get into the gaps. You got to get some ball reversals, though. Number 22, Angelo Warner set to check in for Sean Woods. It's a little mismatch here. Can take him off the bounce if he can get the right spacing. Story it's for three. Mashore deep. Too strong. And story right place at right time.